and last one take a long and deep inhale and hold your breath there for five four three two and one slowly release your breath relax your body relax your mind relax your breath completely now slowly open your eyes everyone bring your right shin in front of your left shin okay bring your right leg in front of your left don't cross your shins we will do good uh, uh, warm up for groups now inhale lift your hands all the way up lengthen your spine lengthen your side now with each exhale push your chest forward and place your palms down and walk with your fingers forward and relax your forehead and stay there try not to lift your hips up sink your chest down 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly look up and slowly walk your palms back. Everyone, bring your right foot on top of your left knee and bring your left foot under your right knee. Okay, just bring your both shins parallel to each other, one top of one other. So don't bring your Foot inside like this. Try to bring your left foot out under your right knee exactly. If your knee is here, it's fine completely. Press your knee with your elbow as much you can and stay there. Press your both elbows onto your right knee and your right ankle. Now with control, walk your palms forward and feel the stretch happening in your right glute. If your both hips are tight, you will feel in your both glutes. It's fine. Just walk your palms forward and relax your forehead, and stay there, and sink into the posture with each exhale, and stay here for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Now slowly walk your palms towards the right side and stay there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly walk your palms to the left and feel the deeper stretch happening in your right glute. You can go a little more deeper with each exhale. Stay there for ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly come to center. Look up and slowly walk your palms back. Very nice. Now release your right leg. Now same thing on the other side. Bring your left shin in front of your right, without crossing your legs. Now inhale. Lift your hands all the way up. Just go for a forward fold. Place your palms down. Walk with your fingers forward and relax your forehead. And stay there for ten, nine, eight, seven. Feel the sensation happening in your left glute now. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly look up and slowly walk your palms back. Okay. Same thing you are doing on left side now. Place your left foot on top of your right knee and bring your right foot under your left knee. Okay, both uh, shins should be parallel to each other. Stay there. If your knee is here, it's completely fine it's because of tightness in your hip flexors. Now press your elbow down as much as you can. Stay here. If you're feeling stretch here, stay there and keep on breathing. Okay, others, if you're not feeling anything, just walk your palms forward. Feel the deeper stretch happening in your left glute, and give a nice forward pull. Stay there for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly walk your palms towards the left side and relax your forehead and stay there. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly walk your palms to the other side and feel the deeper stretch in your left glute. Now stay there for ten, nine, eight, seven, 
6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now slowly come to center. Look up and slowly walk your palms back. Just relax your legs. Just sit in Baddha Konasan. Just tap your knees. Give a nice release for your legs. Just tap your knees. For 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Open your feet like a book. Press your shins with your elbows and repeat. Exhale, go forward and back. Go as much as you can and stay there. Try not to go deeper in the first row. Stay there for 10, 9. Keep on pushing your chest forward. 8, 7. Until you feel the stretch. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now slowly release. Now slide your palms forward and come to all fours. Widen your fingers. Press your palms firmly. Widen your knees to a hip apart. Few cat and cow stretches here to release the tension from your spine. Now inhale, lift your chest and tailbone up. Exhale, round your back, look at your navel. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round your back. Now slowly come on your fingertips, press base of your fingertips firmly, inhale, arch, exhale, round your back, last two, inhale, arch, exhale, round your back, one last, inhale, arch and stay there, five, four, three, two and one, exhale, round your back and stay, five, Four, three, two, and one. Now slowly come to center. Press your palms firmly. Lift your right knee up. Lift your right knee up and form a circles with your right knee. Just working on your glutes. Form a circles, big circles. Come on. Along with me, everyone. One, two, three, four, five. Six, don't try to stretch your knees. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Now slowly release. Everyone step your right foot outside of your right palm. Okay. From here, press your palms firmly. Bring your left knee more back. Bring your left knee more back. If, uh, if your back of your knee is hurting, you can fold your mat under your knee. And sink your hips down. Just form a circles with your spine. Just form a circles. One. It's okay if your front knee is moving. Stretch. Two, three, four, just form a circle with your spine, with your glutes, five, now reverse, five, four, three, two, and one, sink your hips more down. Now slowly place your left elbow down and then right elbow down. And sink your hips down. Point your left toe out and sink your hips down. Go as much as you can. Always place your opposite elbow down first. It's okay if your right elbow is not touching the floor. Keep on trying. Otherwise, come on your right palm and stay there. But try to place your left elbow down and sink your hips down and stay there. For 10, with each exhale, sink into the posture. 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly press your palms, bring your leg all the way back and come to all fours. Same thing you are doing on other side. Everyone. Press your palms firmly. Now lift your left knee up and form a big circle with your left knee. Without stretching your knee. One. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now reverse ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly stretch your left foot outside of your left palm. Okay, sink your hips down, bring your right knee more back so that you can sink your hips down. From here, just form a circles with your spine, with your hip. You can also come on your fingertips. You can stretch your knee while you're going back and go to the right side and to the left. Two, three, four, five. Now reverse. Five, four, three, Two and one. Now sink your hips down, point your left toe out and place your right elbow down. And bring your right knee move back and point your right toe out and sink your hips down. See if you can place your left elbow down and stay there. With each exhale, sink your hips more down. Get deeper into the posture. Stay there for 10, 9, breathe. 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly come on your palms and come to all fours. Just relax yourself. Press your palms firmly. Tuck your toes. Go back to downward facing dog. Push your hips back in the ceiling. Bring your chest closer to the knees. Stay there. Now slowly jog your feet there by lifting alternate heels up. Give a nice release for your legs, for your spine, for your shoulders and for your glutes. Few more times. Very nice. Now slowly look forward with control. Walk to front of the mat. Step by step. Look forward. Slightly bend your knees, just leave your upper body hanging down. Just relax your hands. You can also hold your opposite elbows. Anything is fine. Just move your upper body from side to side, from right to left and left to right. Few more times. Just don't engage your upper body. Just relax. This time when you go to the right side, just stay there. Stay here for 10, 9, Eight, it's okay if your knees are slightly bending, it's completely fine. Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come to center, round your back and slowly come up. Work it, break work it. Very nice. Stand straight. Roll your shoulders back and down. Palms to the heart center. Now, from here, take a long and deep inhale. Don't arch Sukhna Maskara area only. Inhale. Lift your hands all the way up. Lengthen your spine. Lengthen your sides. Exhale. Full forward fold. Head to knee. You can hold your ankles and go down. Slightly bend your knees in full forward fold if you can. Now, inhale. Look up into half forward fold. Place your palms on your shins and push your weight on your toes. Feel the stretch happening in your hamstrings. Look forward. Now slowly bend your knees, press your palms, step back or jump back to plank. Stay in plank. Round your shoulders, lift your hips up to shoulder level. Now push your chest forward, shoulders back, go to Chaturanga or knees down Ashtanga or go down completely on the mat. Inhale, come to upward facing dog. Exhale, go back to downward facing dog. Stay here, widen your feet to the hips apart. With each exhale, push your chest back. Take ujjayi breaths here. Inhale from nose and exhale through throat. Exhale with sound. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. And one. 
Exhale. Now slowly look up, bend your knees, step forward or jump forward to half forward fold. Push your weight onto your toes. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, lift your hands all the way up. Look at your thumb finger. Exhale, pass to the heart center. Inhale, lift your hands all the way up. Exhale, full forward fold, head to knee. Inhale, look up into half forward fold. Now slowly press your palms firmly on the mat. Bend your knees, step back or jump back to plank. Chain plank, push your chest forward, shoulders back. Go to Chaturanga or knees down and stand or go down completely on the mat. Inhale, come to upward facing jog. Exhale, go back to downward facing jog. Widen your feet to the hips apart. Press your palms firmly. Slightly tuck your tailbone and keep on bringing your chest closer to the knees. With each exhale. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. And one. Exhale. Now slowly look up. Bend your knees. Step forward or jump forward to half forward fold. Exhale. Full forward fold. Inhale. Lift your hands all the way up. Exhale. Palms to the heart center. Inhale. Lift your hands all the way up. Exhale. Full forward fold. Head to knee. Inhale, look up into half forward fold. Now slowly press your palms firmly on the mat. Bend your knees, step back or so jump back to plank. Now from here, stay in plank everyone. Protract your shoulders. Lift your right a few centimeters away from the mat. And stay there. Only for three, two and one. Now slowly release. Same thing on the other side. Lift your left leg a few centimeters away from the mat. And stay there for three, two and one. And one, slowly release, push your chest forward, shoulders back, go chitranga, or go down completely on the mat. Inhale, come to upward facing dog. Exhale, go back to downward facing dog. Widen your feet to the hips apart. Press your palms firmly with each exhale. Sink your chest towards your knees. Stay there. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. And one. Exhale. Now slowly look up. Bend your knees. Step forward or jump forward to half forward fold. Exhale. Full forward fold. Inhale. Lift your hands all the way up. Exhale. Palms to the heart center. Few more rounds. Inhale. Lift your hands all the way up. Exhale. Full forward fold. Head to knee. Inhale, look up into half forward fold, push your weight on your toes. Exhale, press your palms, bend your knees, step back or jump back to plank. Once again, lift your right leg a few centimeters away, engage your core, belly in. Three, two, and one. Other side. Three, two, and one. Slowly release, push your chest forward, shoulders back, go to Chaturanga or go down completely on the mat. Inhale, come to upward facing dog. Exhale, go back to downward facing dog. Widen your feet to the hips apart. Push your hips back end up to the ceiling. And with each exhale, sink your chest towards your knees. Stay here. Take five long deep breaths here. Take Ujjayi breath. Inhale from nose and exhale to throat. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. And one. Exhale. Now slowly look up. Bend your knees. Step forward or jump forward to half forward fold. Exhale. Full forward fold. Inhale. Lift your hands all the way up. Exhale. Palms to the heart center. Inhale. Lift your hands all the way up. Exhale. Full forward fold. Head to knee. Inhale. Look up into half forward fold. Now slowly press your palms firmly on the mat. Bend your knees, step back or jump back to plank. Stay in plank. Slightly round your back, knees down. And observe. Today we are doing Chaturanga push-ups. Okay? I told you today we are doing uh, baby grasshopper. So little arm strength is also needed. Come on, press your palms firmly. First you can observe me. From here, push your chest forward and shoulders back. 
chest forward and shoulders back protract your shoulders okay this is protraction this is depression protraction depression so protract your shoulders and push your chest forward and shoulders away from your ears and with control go down inhale up okay exhale down inhale up come on now do it along with me from here protract your shoulders chest forward shoulders back exhale down inhale up two inhale up three inhale up four inhale up five and stay there inhale come to upward facing dog exhale go back to downward facing dog widen your feet to the hips apart and with each exhale bring your chest close to the knees and stay there for three exhale two exhale and one exhale now slowly look up bend your knees step forward or jump forward to half forward fold lengthen your spine push your weight onto your toes exhale full forward fold inhale lift your hands all the way up exhale palms to the heart center same way we are doing one more time with chaturanga push ups Bring your feet to the hips apart. Inhale, lift your hands all the way up. Exhale, full forward fold, head to knee. Inhale, look up into half forward fold. Now slowly press your palms firmly on the mat. Bend your knees, step back or jump back to plank. Stay in plank. Protect your shoulders, knees down. Okay, push your chest forward and shoulders back. If your wrist is pain, if you're not able to bend your elbows. To the back, your elbow should come closer to the waist, guys. If your elbows are widening, slightly turn your palms out. Slightly turn your palms out. It's completely fine. It is very safe for your wrist. Come on, now do it along with me. Now contract your shoulders. Now push your chest forward, shoulders back, and then go down. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Last two. Exhale down. Inhale up. One last. Exhale down and stay there for five, four, three, two, and one. Lie on your belly. Press your palms beside of your waist. Roll your shoulders back and up, and come to upward facing dog. Exhale. Go back to downward facing dog. Stay there. And take five long deep breaths, ujjayi breaths. Inhale from nose and exhale through throat. Exhale with sound. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. And one. Exhale. Now slowly look up. Bend your knees. Step forward or jump forward to half forward fold. Exhale. Full forward fold. Just you can press your back side of your palms. If you want to relax your wrist. Or if you're not able to press your palms down, slightly bend your knees and keep on relaxing back of your palms. Then relax your forehead. Just stay there for some time. Breathe. Inhale from nose and exhale through mouth. Inhale from nose and exhale through mouth. Open your mouth and exhale through mouth. One more breath. Take a long and deep inhale. Open your mouth. And exhale through mouth. And now slowly look up, round your back, and slowly come up. Vertebrae to vertebrae. Just relax. Interlock your fingers. Just rotate your wrist. If you're feeling any type of tension, just keep on doing it and do opposite side also. Now slowly from here, widen your feet to the hips apart. Take a long and deep inhale and come to chair. Push your hips back. Lengthen your spine. Look between your palms. Stay there. Take one long deep breath. Exhale. Full forward fold. Head to knee. Inhale. Look up into half forward fold. Push your weight onto your toes. Now press your palms firmly on the mat. Bend your knees. Step back or jump back to plank. Stay in plank. Now push your chest forward. Shoulders back. Go to full chaturanga or go to half chaturanga. Okay. Stay there. Now inhale. Come to upward facing dog. 
Exhale, go back to downward facing dog. Now from here, take a long and deep inhale. Lift your right leg all the way up. As you exhale, hug your right knee to the chest. Step your right foot closer to the right palm. Lift your back heel up. With control, inhale, lift your hands all the way up into high lunge. Today, high lunge is the base posture. Stay there, sink your hips more down and stay there. Take one long deep breath. Lengthen your spine, tuck your tailbone, engage your core, belly in. One long breath, take a long and deep inhale. Exhale. Now slowly test your palms and step back to three leg plank. Don't release your right leg. Lift your right leg a few centimeters away. Now push your chest forward with control, go down to Chaturanga or go down completely on the mat. Release your leg. Inhale, come to upward facing dog. Exhale, go back to downward facing dog. Now inhale, lift your left leg all the way up. Now as you exhale, hug your left knee to the chest. Now slowly step your left foot closer to the left palm. And lift your back heel up. Now with control, lift your hands all the way up. Your feet should be parallel to each other. Left foot to the left side and right foot to the right side. Lift your hands, rotate your tricep, lengthen your spine, tuck your tailbone. Stay there. Take a long and deep inhale. Exhale through throat. One more breath. Take a long and deep inhale. Exhale. Palms on the mat and step back to three leg plank. Stay there. Protract your shoulders. Now push your chest forward. With control, go to Chaturanga. Release your leg. Inhale, come to upward facing dog. Exhale. Go back to downward facing dog. If you're not able to do Chaturanga, slowly with control, go down completely on the mat. Take five long deep breaths here. Inhale from nose and exhale through throat. Three. Exhale. Two. Exhale. And one. Exhale. Now slowly with control, walk your palms back towards your feet. This time walk your palms back towards your feet. Widen your feet to the hips apart. Hold your big toes with your gun fingers. If you're not able to reach your big toes, bend your knees, hold your big toes with your gun fingers. With each exhale, press your big toe into your fingers and from there try to stretch your knee. With each exhale, go forward and down. Give a nice hamstring stretch here. Stay there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Now slowly look up. Inhale, come to chair. Now from there, just go to low chair. Push your hips back. You can join your feet closer. Push your hips back and bring your chest closer to the thighs. Now from here, bring your left tricep outside of your right knee. So bring your left elbow outside of your right knee and twist. Your right elbow should face the ceiling and keep on twisting. Towards the right side and stay there. For 10, 9, breathe, 8, hips down, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Inhale, stretch your hands forward. Push your hips back, guys. Now bring your right tricep outside of your left knee. Okay, make sure your knee, when you look down, you should be able to look at your toes. So make sure your knees are cro not crossing your toes. And twist towards your left side. And stay there. Keep on twisting from your navel. 10, 9, breathe. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Exhale. Full forward fold. Now slowly with control. Walk your palms forward. Directly into downward facing dog. Now look forward, bend your knees, step forward or jump forward to half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, come to chair, normal chair. Exhale, palms to the heart center. We have one last round of Sundamaskarabhi with little variation. Stay there, bind your feet to the hips apart. Inhale, come to chair. 
Exhale, full forward fold, head to knee. Try to go deeper into your postures, inhale. Look up into half forward fold. Now press your palms firmly on the mat, bend your knees, step back or jump back to plank. Push your chest forward, shoulders back, go to Chaturanga or go down completely on the mat or you can do half Chaturanga. Inhale, come to upward facing dog. Exhale, go back to downward facing dog. Bring your chest closer to the knee, stay there. Now from here, lift your right leg all the way up. Now as you exhale, hug your right knee to the chest, step your right foot closer to the right palm. Lift your back heel up, with control, lift your hands all the way up. If you high lunge and sink your hips down and stay there. Breathe. Now take a long and deep inhale. Exhale, palms on the mat and step back to three leg plank. Now with control, you can do half chaturanga, stretch your right leg, push your chest forward and go like a push up. How you did? Relax, now relax yourself completely down. Inhale, inhale, come to upward facing dog. You can do that. Exhale, go back to downward facing dog. Now from here, lift your left leg all the way up. Now as you exhale, hug your left knee to the chest. Step your left foot close to the left palm. Lift your back heel up to the ceiling with control. Lift your hands all the way up. Sink your hips down. Take a long and deep inhale. Exhale, palms on the mat and step back to three leg plank. Now right knee down and push your chest forward. Go to Chaturanga, half Chaturanga. Release your legs, lie on your belly. Inhale, come to upward facing dog. Exhale, go back to downward facing dog. Breathe. Now slowly with control, walk your palms back towards your feet again. With control. Try not to bend your knees as much you can. But it's okay. Slight bend in your knees is fine. Now push your weight onto your toes. With each exhale, sink your chest down. Now place your complete palms under your feet. Until your wrist. Bend your knees first. Lift your toes up and place your complete palms under your feet. And press your toes into your wrist. And from there try to stretch your knees. With each exhale, bend your elbows and go down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now slowly look up. Inhale. Come to chair. Now slowly stand straight. From here, bring your right hand heel on top of your uh, left knee. Your frozen. Okay, I hope everyone can see. Sometimes it happens, guys. Just stay for some time and we will play again. The signals are good, okay? Come on, place your right ankle on top of your left knee and push your hips back. Yeah, everyone, push your hips back. See? With control, push your hips back and chest forward. Hips back and chest forward. Do as much you can. See? Place your right ankle on top of your left knee. Stretch your hands forward. Push your hips back. At the same time, chest forward. Then only you can balance. And sink your chest down and stay there. For 10, 9, breathe. 8, 7, balance there. 6, 5, 4, feel the stretch in your right glute. 3, Two and one. Now slowly with control come up. Same thing you are doing on the other side. Press your right foot firmly and place your left ankle on top of your right knee. Don't bring your right left knee forward. Bring your left knee to the left side. Now with control bend your right knee. Stretch your hands forward so that you can balance. Push your hips back and chest forward. Hips back and chest forward. Hips back and chest forward. Slowly guys with control. Go as much as you can. If this is your limit, if you're feeling the stretch in your left glute, it's fine. Stay there. Stop there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
and one. Now slowly with control, just go down. Inhale, look up. Now press your palms, walk your palms forward into downward facing dog. Take five long deep breaths here. Inhale from nose, open your mouth and exhale to mouth this time. Three, exhale, two, exhale, and one, exhale. Now so I look forward, bend your knees, step forward or jump forward to half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, come to chair. Exhale, palms to the heart center. Everyone, widen your feet to the hips apart. Stand in Samasthiti. Roll your shoulders back and down. Close your eyes and stay there. We have only two floors today. And then we will move on to our feet pose. Just close your eyes and take two long deep breaths. Take a long and deep inhale. Open your mouth and exhale through mouth. One more breath. Take a long and deep inhale. Open your mouth and exhale through mouth. Now slowly, inhale, lift your hands all the way up. Now interlock your fingers, except your pointer finger, lengthen your spine, lengthen your sides. Now take a long and deep inhale, exhale. Bend to the right side and push your hips to the opposite side. Stay there for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale to the center, exhale to the other side and stay there. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Inhale to the center. Follow me, everyone. Exhale. Full forward fold, head to knee. Inhale. Look up into half forward fold. Lengthen your spine. Now press your palms, bend your knees. Step back or jump back to plank. Stay in plank. Now push your chest forward, shoulders back. Go to Chaturanga. Try for Chaturanga. If you can't, just go down completely on the mat. Inhale. Come to upward facing dog. Exhale. Go back to downward facing dog. Push your chest back towards your knees. Push your hips back and up the ceiling. Now from here, lift your right leg all the way up. Now as you exhale, hug your right knee to your chest and stay. Five, four, come to plank and hug. Three, belly in. Two, and one. Lift your right leg all the way up. Now as you exhale, hug your right knee to the left elbow. And stay there. Three, two, and one. Stretch your left leg. So right leg all the way to the left side. Press your right palm firmly. Bring your right shoulder away from your ear. Lift your left hand all the way up. And stay there. Now from here, take a long and deep inhale. Exhale. Bring your hips down. Inhale up. Two. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Last two. Inhale up, last one, sink your hips down and place your palms and turn your chest to the center of the mat. See my leg is still, right leg is still onto the left side. Now from here, sink your hips down as much you can and stay there. Stay there and then go to Chaturanga and bring your right leg all the way back and up. Lift your right leg all the way up. Now this time as you exhale, hug your right knee to your right tricep. Five, four, three, two, and one. Step your right foot closer to the right palm. Stay there. Stay here. Now everyone lift your hands all the way up into high lunge. Breathe for five, Four, keep on sinking your hips down. Three, two, and one. Place your left palm down. Inhale, lift your right hand all the way up. Into twist and lunge. Stay here for 10. Sink your hips down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone, place your palms down. You can reduce the distance. Slightly. Now with control, lift your hands all the way up and stretch your front knee. Stretch your front knee and lift your back heel up to the ceiling. Stay there. From here, you can observe me first. Inhale, lift up. As you exhale, open your hands, bend your knee and twist towards your right side as you exhale. Again, inhale. 
With control, lift your hands all the way up and stretch your front knee. Exhale, twist towards your right side. Come on, do it along with me. Inhale, lift your hands all the way up, stretch your front knee. Exhale, twist towards your right side. Sink your hips down, bend your front knee. Inhale up, exhale down. Three more times. Inhale up. Go slow with control. Exhale down. Last two. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale. Twist and stay there. Sink your hips down. Twist towards the right side and stay there. For five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring your left tricep outside of your right knee. Everyone, bring your left tricep outside of your right knee and twist towards your right side. Come on guys, strong legs, strong glutes and twist from your navel. 10, 9, breathe, 8, lift your right elbow up facing to the ceiling. Last 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Everyone press your palms down. Now from here, push your weight onto your front leg. Walk your palms forward. Walk your palms forward. Lift your left leg up as much as you can. Now from here, bend your both knees. Hug your left knee to the right shin, back, uh, right back of your leg. See, hug your left knee towards your back of your right leg. Now inhale, stretch. Exhale, hug. Inhale, stretch. Come on, do it along with me. Exhale, hug. Last four. Exhale, hug. Last three. Exhale, hug. Last two. Don't give up, guys. Exhale, hug. Last one. Exhale, hug and stay there. Now slowly bring your left knee all the way down. See, bring your left knee all the way down and sit back. So here you are sitting in Ardha Maschandrasana, okay? Let's, your right foot is outside of your left knee. You're folding your left leg. So your left foot is coming outside of your right thigh. I hope everyone are doing it. Now hug your right knee with your left elbow and twist towards your right side. Feel the stretch happening in your right glute. If you're feeling more easy, Bring your left tricep outside of your right knee and twist towards your right side. Keep on twisting. Artha Maschandrasan, stay there for 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep on twisting. 6. Feel the stretch happening in your right glute and your side body. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now stay there. Everyone, do the counter twist. Okay, place your right palm outside of your left foot. Just do the counter twist. You twist it towards the right side. Now you are twisting to the left side. Breathe. Stay there for 10, 9, breathe, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Just follow me, everyone. You're not stretching your left palm. Okay, your left palm is here only. Just don't widen your left palm more. Widen your fingers slightly closer to the glute. Now from here, stretch your left leg. Everyone, stretch your left leg. So from Ardha Maschandrasan leg, so stretch your left leg. Okay? Bring your left hip. Just make your left toe fall to the left side. Okay, turn your right toe inwards. See? Turn your right toe to the front facing towards me. Now from there, press your left palm firmly. Push your chest forward and hold your right ankle or right shin or right foot. Anything is fine. Otherwise, take the strap. Place the strap into outer arch of your left foot and hold the strap. Everyone, hold the strap. Now with each exhale, push your chest forward. And then go down. As much you can. See Chaturanga hands guys. Press your palms firmly. Push your chest forward. And stay there. I hope everyone are doing it. If you can reach your foot, hold your foot. 
then try to sink your chest down onto the mat stay there for 10 this is also fine guys don't to rest your chest down if it is not possible stay there nine this much is also fine as much you can seven six five four three two and one now slowly come up we are not going deeper into the posture we are just doing the basic thing we are getting into the posture slowly guys now everyone sit in the gomukhasan so bring your right knee on top of your left knee just twist towards your right side so bring your left elbow outside of your right knee and twist towards your right side give a gentle twist gomukhasan twist stay there for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one now slowly press your palms and step back to plank come to plank everyone push your chest forward with control go to chaturanga or go to half chaturanga in here come to upward facing dog exit go back to downward facing dog same flow on the other side okay i will turn to the back of the mat so that you can see turn to the other side stay there now with control lift your left leg all the way up lift your left leg all the way up exhale hug your left knee to your chest and stay 5 4 3 2 1 lift your left leg all the way up hug your left knee to the right elbow stay there for 3 2 1 stretch your left leg to the right side inhale lift your right hand all the way up press your left palm for me exhale hips down inhale up Two, inhale up. Three, inhale up. Four, inhale up. Five, sink your hips down. Press your palm and sink your hips more down. If you can, go for chaturanga hands. Otherwise, stay there and slowly with control bring your left leg all the way back and up into three leg downward facing dog. Hug your left knee to your left tricep and stay. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Step your left foot closer to the left palm. Now, so look forward in runner stance. Place your right palm down. Inhale, lift your left hand all the way up into twister lunge. Stay here for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. and one place your palms down you can reduce the distance between your feet slightly now inhale lift your hands all the way up and stretch your front knee lift your back heel up lift your back heel up stretch your front knee exhale bend your knee sink your hips down and twist towards your left side once again inhale up stretch your front knee exhale down three more times inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down twist last one inhale up exhale down twist and stay 5 4 3 2 1 and bring your right tricep outside of your left knee and twist towards your left side and stay there 10 9 8 and one now slowly press your palms now walk your palms forward lift your right leg up we are almost there we are working on baby grasshopper guys so that's why we are doing all this close come on now lift your right leg all the way up now take a long and deep in here exhale bring your right knee hug your right knee to the back of your left shin hug your left shin now inhale up exhale hug inhale up exhale hug inhale up exhale hug last two exhale last one exhale now slowly bring your right knee down 
and sit back. When you sit back, bring your left foot outside of your right knee and bring your right foot beside of your left hip. Now from here, hug your right, sorry, hug your left elbow with your right knee. Sorry, hug your left knee with your right elbow and twist towards your left side. Feel the stretch happening in your left glute and stay there. If you're feeling more easy, bring your right tricep outside of your left knee and twist. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, keep on twisting everyone, 3, 2, and 1. Now slowly go, go for a counter twist, place your left palm outside of your left foot and twist towards your right side. Just 5, 4, 3, Two and one. This is the preparation for baby grasshopper. Now stretch your right leg, everyone. Everyone. So from here, stretch your right leg and make your toe fall onto the right side. From here, turn your left toe slightly and push your hips back. Okay, press your right palm to the outer line of your hips. See, press your right palm to the outer line of your hip. Don't walk your palm heavy. You will tend to do this, do this, but don't do it. Now, turn your toe inwards. Now, from here, hold your foot. Hold your foot from other side, like this. Otherwise, hold your shin or hold your ankle. Everything is fine. If you're not feeling comfortable, take the strap. Place the strap into outer arch of your foot. Hold the strap. From here, hold the strap, everyone. I'm not bringing my palm away. Turn your left toe. Straight. Now from here, bend your elbow into Chaturanga. See, your elbow is closer to my, my right elbow is closer to my base. Now from here, I'm just sinking my chest down. From here, I'm just sinking my chest down and stay there. 10, 9, see how much you can go. 8, 7, preparation for baby grasshopper. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Now slowly come up. You can also remove the strap. Now with control, turn to the mat and sit in Gomukhasana. Whenever I say Gomukhasana, you're not changing your legs. You're just going in a flow. Bring your right knee on top of one another. It's fine if it is not coming. Bring your right tricep outside of your left knee. So today we are doing a lot of twists, right? Bring your right elbow outside of your left knee and twist towards your left side. Gomukhasana twist. Stay there for 10. Now I feel the stretch happening in your left glute. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly with control, press your palms, lift your hips up, and just step back to plank. Now push your chest forward, go to Chaturanga, inhale. Come to upward facing dog, exhale, go back to downward facing dog. Everyone, knees down. Go to child's pose. Everyone, knees down, go to child's pose. Stay there. Take two long deep breaths. Take a long and deep inhale. Open your mouth and exhale through mouth. One more breath. Take a long and deep inhale. Open your mouth and exhale through mouth. Now slowly look up. We have one last flow, guys. I know everything is moving in your body, but trust me, this is the one last flow and then in this flow only we are moving into baby grasshopper. So follow me carefully. Come on. Come to all fours. Tuck your toes. Go back to downward facing dog. From here, lift your right leg all the way up. Lift your right leg all the way up. As you exhale, hug your right knee to the chest. Now inhale. Lift your right leg all the way up again. Exhale. Hug your right knee to the left elbow. Inhale. Lift your right leg all the way up. Hug your right knee to the right elbow. Inhale. Lift your right leg all the way up. Hug your right knee to your chest and slowly step your right foot closer to the right palm. Okay, easy flow, guys. Now, with control, lift your hands all the way up into high lunge. Just stay there. Stay in high lunge. Everyone along with me.
head fail place your back knee down without placing your palms down push your hips back into half split lift your toe up and hands back like an aeroplane sink your chest down sink your chest down feel the stretch happening in your right hamstring once again inhale lift your hands all the way up lift your back knee up come on four more times exhale place your back knee down bring your hands all the way back stretch your front knee lift your front toe up don't point your left toe up and sink your chest down inhale come up into high lunge exhale knee down push your hip back and lift your front toe up and sink your chest more down inhale come up into high lunge exhale place your back knee down push your hip hips back and stretch your front knee bring your hands all the way back one last time inhale come up into high lunge exhale place your back knee down push your hips back stretch your front knee and sink your chest on your knee stay here this time stay there for 5 4 3 2 and 1 now with control lift up place your back heel down and come to warrior 2 just stay in warrior 2 when you are right knee look at your right palm fingers hold it stay for 5 Four, three. Breathe. Two and one. Now point your both toes out. Lift your hands all the way up as you inhale. Come to star. Now exhale. Point your left toe out. Sink your hips towards your left side and come to skandhasan. Sink your hips down. Feel the stretch happening in your right inner thigh. Just push your Right heel more to the right side so that you can feel deeper stretch and stay there. Ten. You can also bring your palms to heart center. Nine, eight, seven. Breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Once again, come up into warrior two. Now from there, just go to reverse warrior and stay there. Stay here for five, four. Three, two, and one. Inhale. Come to start. Once again, push your hips to the left side. Change kandasan. This time, sit back. This time, sit back. Everyone, hold your left knee. Press your left foot to the inner thigh of your right leg. Okay. Stretch your right leg to the right side. From here, place your left palm back of your hip. Inhale. Lift your right hand all the way up and lift your hips up. And look up, look back. Now exhale down. So you're sweeping your hand like this, okay? Bring your hand all the way onto your right shin. Now from here, press your left palm back of your hip firmly. Now inhale, lift your hips up. Press your left palm, lift your hips up. Bring your right hand all the way back. Each time, try to go deeper and back. Three more times. Inhale up. Exhale back. Last two. Inhale up. Exhale down. One last. Inhale up and stay there for five, four, three as much you can. Two and one. Exhale back. This time, press your right foot firmly. Now the same thing you are doing, but opposite side. Press your right foot firmly. And place your right palm head back, and sweep your left hand all the way back. Take a long and deep inhale. Now sweep your left hand all the way up into Chamatkar. Exhale back. Okay, same thing you are doing. Instead of this, you are pressing your left foot like this. Now place your right palm head back. Now from here, take a long and deep inhale. Press your right palm firmly. Lift your hips up. Come all the way on your left foot. And lift, stretch your left hand all the way back. Exhale down. Come on, three more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last two. Inhale up. Exhale down. One last. Inhale up and stay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale back and stay there. Now from here, breathe. Stay there. 
Now we are going to baby grasshopper guys. From here, take a long and deep inhale. Just give a gentle twist towards the left side. Breathe. Very nice. Now from there, stretch your hands forward. Just fold your knee. Stretch your hands forward. Sink your chest down. Breathe. Now slowly walk your palms back. From there, bring your left knee on top of your right. Just sit in Gomukhasana. From there, press your left foot firmly. Now, bring your left uh, tricep inside of your left knee. Now, stretch your right leg to the left side. So, you sit in Gomukhasana. Bring your left knee on top of your right. Place your left foot outside of your right knee. Stretch your right leg. From here, bring your left hand forward. Now, press your right palm outer line of your right hip, guys. Now, from there, you can take the strap or you can hold outer line of your uh, foot. Otherwise, you can take the strap. Place the strap into outer arch of your foot. Now, hold the strap. Press your palm firmly. The same way what you did before, lean forward. Hold it and lean forward. Push your weight and try to lift your hips up. Try to lift your hips up. Hold your strap and try to lift your hips up. That's it, guys. So before what you did, you just lean forward, right? So here you are using your arm strength to lift your hips up. Turn your toe inwards. Take a long and deep inhale. Push your weight forward. Stay there. Now lift your hips up. Press your left foot firmly and press your right palm firmly. And stay there. Okay? People who can do without the strap, hold your foot from down like this. So your shoulder is falling inside. From there, turn your leg. Now push your weight forward and then lift your leg up and stay there. Breathe. Ten. Nine. Come on, keep on trying. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Just sink your hips down and relax. Okay? Same thing you are doing on other side. Okay, everyone. Press your palms and step back to plank. Come on, guys. Now push your chest forward with control. Go to Chaturanga. Inhale. Come to upward facing dog. Exhale. Go back to downward facing dog. I will show you on this side so that you can see. Now lift your left leg all the way up. Exhale, hug your left knee to your chest. Inhale, lift your left leg all the way up. Hug your left knee to the left tricep. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hug your right left knee to the right elbow. Inhale, lift up. As you exhale, step your left foot close to the left palm. Now from there, inhale, lift your hands all the way up into high lunge and sink your hips down. Now from there, place your back knee down. Push your hips back and stretch your front knee. Into half split, bring your hands all the way back into airplane, like airplane. Now inhale, lift up with control, exhale, back. Inhale, come up, exhale, back. Place your back knee down, push your hips back and stretch your front knee. Last two, inhale up, exhale, back. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale back. And hold it this time. Sink your chest down and stay there. Stay there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5. Inhale, come up. Stay there. Breathe. Now place your back heel down and come to warrior 2. Stay there for 5, 4, Three, two, and one. This time as you inhale, come to start. Point your right toe out. Skandhasana on right side. Sink your hips down and stay there. For ten, nine. You can also bring your palms to heart center. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. With control, come up into warrior two on left side. And go to reverse warrior. Stay there for five, four, three, 
two and one. Now slowly come to start one last time. Just sit in Sandhasan, restart, sit back, okay? From here, fold your right knee, okay? Fold your right knee, press your right foot to the inner thigh of your left. Bring your right palm all the way back. Now inhale, lift your left hand all the way up. Exhale back. Just sweep your left hand all the way back. Inhale down. Last three. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last two. Inhale up. Exhale down. One last. Inhale up and stay. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly release. Now press your right foot. Press your right foot firmly. Breathe. So before you just folded your right knee. Now you just press your right foot. Place your left palm all the way back. Now sweep your right hand all the way back. Now take a long and deep inhale. Press your left palm firmly. Lift your hips up. Then stretch your right hand all the way back. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last three. Come on. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last two. Inhale up. Exhale down. One last. Inhale up and stay there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale back. Just twist towards your right side. Keep on twisting. Now just fold your knee. Just go for a forward fold. Only for three, two, and one. Now slowly bring your left knee on top of your, sorry. Yeah, bring your right knee on top of your left knee. Stay there. Now press your right foot firmly and stretch your left leg. Now you're doing baby grasshopper on left side. From there, bend your right knee. Your right foot is facing towards front. Now make sure your left palm is pressing to the outer line of your hip. Okay? It should be in one straight line. Outer line of your hip. Slightly back. Now from there, press your foot firmly. You are holding onto your right foot and your left palm. You can also take the strap. Place the strap into the outer arch of your foot. Hold it. Now from there, bring your right shoulder inside. Just go to Chaturanga hands. Now lift up. Push your weight and lift up and stay. Breathe as much you can. If you're feeling more easy with your strap, you can remove the strap. Hold the outer side of your leg. See? Inside arch. Check your little finger. Hold it in your little finger. Arch. Stay there. Now just lean forward. Just lean forward. Press your palms firmly. Press your right foot. Use your right foot and your left palm to lift your hips up. Use your core. Stay there. For 10, 9, breathe. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly release. Just relax. Stretch your legs forward. You can turn towards me. It's okay if you didn't get it, but you. I hope everyone got leaning forward. Okay, once you get it, you will get into the posture slowly. Okay, just relax. Lift your hands all the way up. Now with each exhale, just go for a forward fold. Into Paschimottanasana. Stay there. Stay here for 10. Everyone, do Paschimottanasana. It's okay, Aruna. It's okay. You can do it. It will take time, guys. It will take time. But I hope everyone got leaning forward. It is all flexibility of your legs all. Glutes also. Okay, come on. Come on, just go forward and do Paschimottanasana. Don't take much stress, guys. Okay? Come on, just go forward and do. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, breathe, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now slowly release. Just Hug your knees to the chest. Breathe. Now everyone stretch your left leg. Hug your right knee to the chest. Stay there. 
Breathe. Just twist towards your right side. Give a gentle twist for five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly stretch your right leg. Hold your left. Hug your left knee to your chest. Stay there. Now hug your left knee with your right elbow. Just twist towards your left side. And stay there for five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly lie on your back. Come on. Everyone, lie on your back. Hug your knees to your chest. Don't take much stress. You can try these peak poses any time, okay? You can use the strap. People who are more flexible in your hips, they can do without the strap. Just hug your knees. Just move your spine from side to side. Give a nice release from your legs, from your spine, just from your shoulders. Now from here, open your hands. Bend your knees to the right side and turn your head to the opposite side. Just close your eyes and relax. Keep on breathing. Take a long and deep inhale and exhale through mouth. Now slowly lift your knees up, bend your knees to the other side and turn your head to the opposite side. Just close your eyes and relax, breathe. You can also place your left thumb outside of your right knee and just stay there, breathe. Now slowly bring your legs forward, widen your feet to the edges of the mat, palms little away from your hips, relax your shoulders, relax your legs, just scan your complete body from tip of your toe to top of your head, just go to Shavasana. Relax. One scan your body from the top of your toe to the top of your head. Just see if you're maintaining any type of tension. Maybe in your legs, in your glutes, in your spine, in your shoulders, in your sides that you worked on today. It's okay, people who got it, it's very good, guys. Going good. People who didn't get it, coming days, we will keep on repeating these postures. So if you keep on practicing these flows, one day you will definitely get it without knowing yourself. Okay, just practice guys. And don't ever compare with others. It will take time. Just stay there, breathe. Relax yourself completely. Focus on your breath. Stay here for 30 more seconds. Now slowly move your toes, move your legs, move your palms, bring your hands all the way back, interlock your fingers. As you inhale, stretch your body from both sides. Exhale, release. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, release one last time. Inhale, stretch, tuck your big bone. And stay there for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, release. Slowly turn towards your right side by making you feel off your right elbow and stay there for a few breaths. Keep on breathing. Now slowly come up and sit with closed eyes. 
palms to the heart center. Take one long deep breath. Take a long and deep inhale. And slow and soft exhale. We will end our session with one more kara. Take a long and deep inhale. Oh.